Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic World 2. My name is Isaac and we're back. So I've kind of expanded this since last episode. Uh, I've got kind of like almost a legit farm going here. This um, raspberry thing I've kind of completed. It's got right to the end now so I'm not expanding it anymore. But uh, so it's grown up quite tall. You'll see I think it grows to a max of three levels. So in the end they'll all look like this. So it'll be three full blocks tall and we'll just be able to run around and just grab all of these raspberries and just be like mmm raspberries all the time. And they go like pretty fast, which is kind of nice. We've got loads of raspberries now, which is awesome. So if we check our chest here, look at this. We've got like a stack and a half good stuff. Um, I've also platted down some sugar cane, because we're going to need loads of paper and stuff for loads of the magical stuff later on. And I've also platted this river cane. I'm not sure if this is how it grows, if it grows the same as sugar cane or not, but uh, I've done it anyway. And we've still got all this barley here instead of wheat. And we've got one set of cotton seeds and one snowball plant, which when we break it gives us a snowball. Awesome. Okay, so we've been doing quite a bit of Thorncraft uh, over the last couple of episodes, and I kind of want to switch it up just a little bit this episode, and I'm going to do some Ars Magic 2. Now, to start that off, we are going to need a few things. You'll see that I'm um, at Ars Magic, I'm looking at the mod. Um, there's a, a pot, like a little pool of liquid over there that we need to go to, but before we go over there, we are going to need a few things. We need an item frame, and how do we make an item frame? We need sticks and leather basically, just sticks and leather. Uh, we have one piece of leather, but the other thing that we're going to need to make is a book. And our book also needs another piece of leather, and I don't believe that... Oh wait, we've got some leather in there, haven't we? So we should be fine actually, we should just have just enough. Um, so leather, with sticks all around, if we get enough sticks. Let's make... Oh, is that that hellwood bark it is? We can use a few of this, why not? So sticks and leather gets us an item frame. And then leather and paper, which we can get because we've got an absolute shizwa ton of sugarcane somewhere. Here, look at this, we've got like a stack and a bit. And it's going over there as well, so we'll get loads of stuff. Here we go, paper, and this gives us a book. And now, if we head on over to this thing, uh, you'll see something pretty cool, which is basically the start to Ars Magica. So, what you want to do to begin with is... Run over, run, just run around a little bit wherever you're spawning if you're uh, playing like Magic World 2 or if you're just playing something that has Ars Magica. So like I think Horizons has it. I'm going to assume Feed the Beast Monster has it because that's another massive mod pack that has a lot of mods in. Uh, I'm just going to quickly uh, do a little time lapse thing and move myself over there because it's quite a way away. Okay, so what you want to do is find yourself one of these pools. Now, they can be hard to spot because they do kind of look like water. They are blue, but they're kind of see-through-ish. And um, if you're running Spax, they've got the normal default texture, so they're kind of, like, easier to spot, I guess. And what you want to do is you want to build a little, like, pillar next to it. Grab your item frame, stick that on there. Put your book in there and just wait for the magic to happen. You'll know you've done it right, and you'll know it's one of these ponds if this stuff starts happening. And do we have, like, sound on? We do, but I think it might be music that we're... Missing here, and this stop whenever I do this, it might do. Oh, look at this. We've got ourselves an arcane compendium. Now, this is basically like the Thormonomicon. It basically just goes through and tells you everything you need to know about Ars Magica 2 and stuff. And if you want, you can have a read through it. It's quite comprehensive and long. It's got a lot of stuff in here. It would take you quite a while to read it all. Or you could just, like browse YouTube for a couple of hours and just learn how to do it that way. It's up to you. Anyways, either way it's fine. So I'm going to quickly grab this cow actually because I want some leather but he didn't give me any. What a what a bitch. So I'm going to head back home and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so once you're back at your base or just maybe you've Maybe you've set up your base over there as magical liquid, who knows? But uh, once you're back, what you want to do is sell your inventory, Isaac, because this is just a bit ridiculous considering how much stuff you've got. So let's make another chest real quick. Actually, let's make another double chest because we can't. So we'll just make the one chest, you know? You know, whatever. I think we've got like five chests in one of these somewhere, actually. So probably a little bit of a waste, but it's fine. Let's just empty some stuff out into here. We probably don't need most of this. Gonna need that leather, so we'll keep that. Probably always need torches. You always need iron, stuff like that, and we should be good to go. <laughs> okay, so first thing you're gonna want to make is called an Oculus. So if I type in Oculus, uh, oc I'll just type in at Mars Ma Ars Magica. At Ars Magica, and the first thing that you are gonna want to make is this thing here, the Oculus. I just spelled it wrong. So we need three three stone bricks. We need a glass and blue tapas and coal. So the first thing we're gonna need is we need to smelt up some cobblestone. 
Uh, I think four actually gives you four lots of bricks as well, doesn't it, if I'm not mistaken. So if we craft that down, we should get four smooth stone, which should give us four um, bricks. So that's fine. We're also going to need some glass, some blue tap topaz or whatever, which I think we've got. Yeah, we've got one here. We've got one of those. And I think we're good to go. Do we have a glass somewhere? Uh, do I just throw it in here? Do, do, do. Doesn't look like we have any, so I'm going to grab some sand real quick. And then we can hopefully be able to make our Oculus, which is basically like a little stand that you use to unlock your spells, really. So if I grab this, and hopefully when this finishes, like now, grab that, I'm going to go to sleep real quick so we don't get overrun by mobs and killed. It looks like we've got a Dryad coming in from the north who wants to come say hello. Let's go. Have a look. See if it is a dryad. Real quick. Hello? 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 Where are you hiding? I hope it's not a sheep. The dryad has taken sheep form. Or maybe it's just underground. Oh no, there it is. Look. Dryad. And I believe things grow faster when dryads are about, so if we could get a dryad to like just wander around our farm, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, back on track. So, we're making the Oculus. We've got this thing. We've got all that stuff. Do we have what it takes? We need some coal. We've got two there. We've got two. And I think we should be good to go. There we go. And we have an Oculus. So, let's put this down over here somewhere. Maybe just like here. You open this up and you get different tabs. You've got defense, uh, offense even, which are all your offensive spells. So, like, you've got projectiles so we can do projectile spells and you can probably look, like just judge by what's going on here you got like lightning spells or something maybe and I have, I have no idea actually what some of these later ones are so I've, I'm kind of new to this mod so we'll find out I'm guessing <coughs> we've got defense which are defensive spells we've got utility which are kind of like not offensive or defensive you could have probably guessed that. But they're like uh, Sea in the Dark, stuff like that. This one, I'm assuming, it looks like a sickle. Probably does something to do with farming. And then we've got talents, which I have no idea what talents do. Mana regen, stuff like that. Okay? So, first thing, you've got these points up in the top corner. I believe you just get these points from leveling up. Uh, you'll probably have noticed that when I uh, went to say, when I went and got the Arcane Compendium, I actually now have bars. Like, I have a red bar here and a blue bar here. You can see it. The one on the right, my blue bar, is my mana bar. And the one on the left is my... Um, Sort of like spell regen type thing. You'll see what I mean in a minute when I make my, uh, when I make my first spell. So, <coughs> the first thing you want to do is you can just unlock projectile. There we go. It's used at one of our things. And what shall we unlock next? We've got physical damage has not been learned. We've got some other stuff that's not been learned. Self, uh, touch has not been learned. Mm. We could do physical damage. Let's learn physical damage. And we can either do fire damage or magic damage. Let's do fire damage. That sounds like fun. So we've used all of our three um, like points to start with. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. We don't really need it to begin with. And we'll get more as we go along. And what we need to do now is we need to do is build ourselves a crafting altar, I believe. So one of these. And we can make these out of anything we want, kind of. Um, you've got a nice list here. So wooden planks and stone bricks are the easiest thing or the cheapest thing, shall I say, to make it out of. Um... And it goes all the way up to nether quads. And you can see the better the stuff you make out of, the more effect you can add to your spell. Um, and then, so you've got these, like, first blocks, which are the ones that are majority. And then you've got the um, extra blocks, the caps, as they've called them. So these ones and that one there at the bottom. Uh, which can be made out of these. Now, do we have that much lapis? How much do we need? Five blocks worth. Do we have that much lapis? Because lapis would be a nice thing to make it out of. If not, we can always use... Is redstone the same as lapis? Uh, redstone... I oh, know redstone's a lot lower down than lapis is. Uh, how much... Oh, wow, yeah, we can. We can make... So I think I'm going to make my caps out of lapis, because lapis is pretty good, and we don't have much of a use for lapis just yet. So we'll make our caps out of lapis, and what should we make our other stuff out of? Do we have witch wood about? We probably do, but we probably don't have enough witch wood to do a whole thing with. Um, willow wood, oak wood. We've got witch wood, but that's only... Does this make four? That's only... That's 20. How much do we need? We're going to need, da, 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 da. Oh, I don't know, this is a 5 by 5 isn't it, 3, 4, 5, so 5 times, that's 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, we need more than we've got, so let's just, I think I might just make it out of wooden planks to begin with, lapis is going to bump us up to uh, 6 effects with the wooden planks, I think, just for a basic one to start with, I'll do wooden planks, we can always upgrade the um, the base material if we get like, um, 
I might upgrade it off the camera to like stone bricks if I go get some clay or something like that, possibly. But for now, <clears throat> we can leave it uh, how it is. So I'm going to build it over here for now. This can be like the base, the base starting place for it. Let's get some of these. So we need a five by five. So one, two, three, four, five. By one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's cutting it close with the water. But this should be fine. Let's connect this up and fill this in and put a lapis block in the middle. Okay. Lapis lazuli. And put that there. And then what else do we need? We need like three here, three here, three over here, and three here. There we go. Then in the middle of those, we need what's called magic walls. So how do we make magic walls? It should be here actually, yeah, it's there. So magic wall is made from Vintium dust and smooth stone. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can make some Vintium dust. So we need, we need six smooth stone. So we'll throw that in there and get them cooking up. Uh, I'll make some more sticks real quick. And we can make some more logs in a second. Uh, sticks, and we'll get some more of these. So Vintium dust, we've got some Vintium ore here. And I think you pretty much just smelt each Vintium, du uh, Vintium ore down into Vintium dust. So, oh, actually, we only need one smooth stone because uh, each, one, each time you do this, you get... Uh, 16 magic walls. So we're gonna, we've got a lot of Vintium, which is good. And I'm assuming it's good to have early on, so we'll find out, I'm assuming. Uh, that's one, and once this one's finished, we can have two, and we should be able to make ourselves this magic wall. Now, what else do we need? We're going to need this thing here called a crafting altar, which is just Vintium dust on top of um, a piece of stone, so pretty much the same thing. So let's cook that up whilst we uh, go set everything else up. I'll throw that in there. We can craft ourselves this magic wall stuff. Let's go throw that in. This is looking kind of cool actually with the uh, wooden lapis. I quite like it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can just break this. It'll come back, I'm hoping. Uh, nope, looks like we just fall and lost that. <laughs> okay, it's fine. And is this done? It is, so we can just make ourselves one of these. Hazard. Okay. Right, we're also going to need one of these lectins which is just three planks and then okay I'm gonna look it up in the NIE because that's just like glitching out to no end um, it looks like it's just pretty much slabs and a plank oh wow there you go well there you have it it is pretty it is just slabs and a plank uh, we're also gonna need some sticks to make ourselves a lever because we need a lever on this thing uh, I don't think we're gonna get around to using the lever today but we do need it there for later on, so let's, um, we could probably do make a little bridge there, but let's put that there. The lectern can go here. We're going to need, uh, we're going to do the top now, so we need, I believe we need some stairs of some kind, we do, so let's just pause this for a second. Um, right, let's make some stairs. We're going to need, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stairs, 12 stairs, that should be fine. So if we just do this... We can get eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that should be fine. Should be enough. We'll find out, won't we? Okay. So we throw one here, 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 and here, and then we climb up this thing. We go. How do we go? We go. Okay. So we do one in the middle, kind of, of each with this thing, this thing with where which way do the stairs face okay like this and like this with stairs here here and here and here here and here oh wow that that failed <laughs> okay let's try this again get rid of that get rid of this okay and let's put should really get my axe out in a second so I can clean this up I think that's about it and oh, we need these uh, corners capping but we can do that it's fine put one there 
and then one there. There we go. So this should be complete. We can get rid of these corner things when we get our axe over, but I think pretty much that's complete. Now the next thing we're going to need is called an inspection table. Is it an inspection table? An inscription table even, sorry. Uh, which is some slabs, some spruce wood, a feather, a torch, and a spell parchment, which is just sticks and paper. Told you all this paper would come in handy. So, if we grab that paper from probably in this chest actually. There it is. And we get some sticks. We should be able to make one of these. Good stuff. I think we've got a feather around here somewhere. At least one. We do. Good stuff. Good stuff. We also need some slabs, a plank, and some torches. And I think we're actually good to go. Uh, so if I shift... Oh, I can't shift click. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's because I'm not in the crafting table. If I shift click, look at this. Beautiful. Okay, so let's put this, say, uh, over here by our thing. I'm just going to put it here for now. Okay, why not? There we go. And you'll see that we've got projectile, physical damage, and fire damage. So we're going to actually need a book and quill. So if I type in book, we need a book and quill, which is feather, a book, and an ink sack. Now, do we have, A, another feather? Don't think we do. B, an ink sack? I don't think we do. And C, something else? Probably not. Uh, do, 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 doesn't look like we have any feathers actually. So I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go find some chickens and I'm going to go get a feather and I will be right back. Okay, so I got myself a feather, some ink sacks, some paper, we've got all that good stuff, so I think we're pretty much good to go. So let's make ourselves a book, and then we could turn that to a book and quill if we stop grabbing random stuff, if we just do this, and then there we go. Okay, so now let's head back over to our inscription table, we'll throw in this book and quill, <coughs> we'll add projectile, and we'll add fire damage, and can we add physical damage as well? We can do, why not? So let's type, let's name this fire with exclamation marks, and it should, if I click O, I think it is, and turn off the NIE, it says removing the book will finalize the spell. Okay, so take this out, and we have fire by Quarzak122. And if we give this quick read, it'll say fire damage and physical damage, and if we flick over, it says we need an iron sword, a red ruin, a snowball, some vintium dust, an arrow, and a flint and steel. Now, what we have to do is we have to put this on here, and the way that we do this is... Okay, so to start this we need a blank ruin to begin the crafting process. So, ruins I believe are actually pretty easy to make, so if I grab a load of cobblestone, I think ruins are something like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to need a few of these, so let's just make, say, five. Yeah, a ten. Let's make ten ruins. So to start this, we just need to throw a blank ruin into here, and that should start the process. Okay, so it's telling me the first thing that I need is some Vintium Dust. So if I run back over here and craft some of this up, I think we need two Vintium Dust. So I'm going to craft two of these up. I'll smelt them even. Um, it also said we need an Iron Sword and a Red Ruin. So Iron Sword we can do if we've got some iron, which we've got on us. Iron Sword is just like this. Uh, a red ruin is actually just a uh, red flower, so we need some red dye, if we have any. Uh, we don't think we do, actually. Is there any other way to make red dye? We can use dye essence. We can use red stuff. Beetroot. That's about it. So let's go find some red flowers, shall we? We're on the hunt for flowers. We're off to find some flowers. Okay. I'm going to go find some red flowers, and I'll be back in a second. Red flowers! 
Okay. Oh. Okay, so I got myself some red flowers, so now I'm pretty sure that if we just craft these into some rose red, I think we just craft these with the runes to make red runes. There we go. Got two of these, so let's start this, let's kick this thing off by throwing in the Vintium Dusty Last for. Okay, now what's it want next? Oh, is it stopped, maybe? It kind of stopped. Or has it? No, oh, it's just... Hmm. What's... What's going on? Could we pick this book up? Possibly? It's not telling me what it wants. Did I throw in the wrong thing? Oh, flipping heck, why am I... Why am I playing around with the magic air blocks? There we go, I'll take that back and we'll try again. So we'll start by throwing in a rune. And some trees. You know, just for the fun. Um, how do I restart this? Iron sword, red ruin, just try to throw everything in. Iron sword, red ruin, what else did it want? Arrows, Vintium dust. I threw Vintium dust in, so let's try, let me try another one. No, uh, flint and steel. Hmm. I'm wondering what I've done wrong here, because I'm pretty sure the answer is nothing. Flint and steel. Hmm. Hmm. How strange. Um. I wonder if there's a way to restart this. Maybe if I like break the altar. Uh, let's just. No, don't burn the altar. Just. Let's get rid of this. Let's take this away. Now let's break this lectern. Let's go get a flipping axe to break this like turn, because that's just taking the mick. Um do, 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 do. axe, this should do. Let's go and break this thing. So maybe that'll break the process or we'll like just break something random. Like this. And let's try this again. So fix this up, put down a lectern, and then throw our book into here. So now if I throw a blank rune in, okay, so it wants Vintium Dust, which we can do, it wants an arrow, right, okay, let's do that. Do we have any arrows? The answer is probably no, because we don't have anything we need. Okay, so I'm going to go and find myself a chicken, because we're going to need more feathers, and I will be right back. Okay, it would seem that if you walk too far away from this thing, or maybe it's just if you leave it too long, it sort of gets bored and restarts its thing. So it's restarted for me again. So I'm going to grab two more of this stuff to smelt up. Um, I'm going to make this arrow real quick, because we need an arrow. Now, I don't think I've actually ever, ever made an arrow. Uh, so we need some flint. we got some sticks. No, we don't, but we can make some. Flint, steel, sticks. Kaboom. I went on like a full-on chicken massacre, just like killing all the chickens. Uh, let's take this, let's cook up these, maybe, or oh, we'll just throw stuff on my bed, you know? I mean, sometimes I like to do stuff, but sometimes I just like to throw stuff on my bed. So, there you go. Let's throw this in. Let's throw in an arrow. Let's throw in a snowball, which we should have, because we've been growing snowballs, which is kind of nice. Uh, snowballs... Here, there we go. Let's put this arrow away and maybe some of this other crud. There we go. I'm not going to throw the snowball, I've got to drop it. A uh, red ruin. A uh, flint and steel. Oh, I used it. Oh, I used it just a little bit, didn't I? I accidentally clicked on that. Um, I accidentally clicked on the wood with it, so I'm going to have to get another one, aren't I? Uh, do I have everything I need on me? Yeah, I do. I have everything I need, and I always do it the wrong way around, but it's fine. Here we go. Flint steel. Going in. And finally, Vintium dust, I believe, again. Nope, and another red ruin. And the iron sword. And we finally, we need one of those squirrel things again, which is just uh, paper. Or it's paper and sticks, like that. Yep, spell parchment. So that's why we need so much paper and sugar cane and stuff, and and saw that coming from a mile away. 
So let's throw this in. And huzzah! There we go, we get some nice music, and we get a projectile spell. So I think if we just right click, we get to pick a um, fire throwing. We get to pick a, a pitcher to note by. I'm going to give it this one because it's kind of a an alright fire spell. There we go. So now, if we say go find ourselves an animal of some kind, like this pig that's about to get his uh, his bacon cooked up, we should be able to. Oh, where did that pig go? It's up upwards. Uh, let's go and get this guy. We should be able to throw some fire at him. Now, in the bottom right, it shows my mana, which uh, will drain when I fire this thing. And when I do drain it, the bar on the right, sort of like um, a counter that goes up. I can't remember exactly what they call it. And gosh, this pig's flipping far away. I thought I were walking like two minutes away to find a pig, but apparently not. Uh, pigs. Pigs. I only want to throw fireballs at you. It's nothing that bad. Okay, so if we get this thing and we go... Boom. Oh, look at that. Okay. So now we can... This pig's running away. We can just fire, fire at him. You'll see the bar, I'll probably if I try firing now, I can, oh, fire. So yeah, I missed him. If you miss, you don't get really XP for it. See, I'm level two now. If I fire and try again, I can't do it because the thing on the left, I don't have enough mana and I'm, my like um, mana cost's going up. So what this red bar does is when you fire it, to stop you sort of spamming, it uh, increases the cost of the thing. Is, uh, so it's going down at the minute. And it increases the cost as soon as you fire it, and then when the red bar gets back down to zero, the, ma the cost will be normal again. My mana bar will slowly increase. Uh, you do get more mana as you level up, and but you don't get any mana for not hitting anything, so I have to hit this pig every time. Um, which is kind of a pain, considering I am running kind of low on mana. And it's taking forever to load. And you'll see if I try to do it, it'll like flash in the bottom right and say, no, you don't have enough mana to do this. So I'm going to go home, actually. Forget that pig. I'm going to try and find something closer to home to attack. Because that thing's just a pain. But yeah, this is just like the basics of Ars Magica 2. That's like the first spell. There's an absolute ton of stuff that you can get into and do. Which we'll definitely be doing. Like teleportation and healing spells and fighting spells. Other ones apart from this one. This was literally the first spell. And if we head back, we might have actually gone up a level. To, um, to you guessed it, level 2. Is this thing like up in the leaves or something? Or is it hidden under? It might be up in that tree above me. Possibly. I can't see it. I can't see him. It's fine. Let's see. Is there anyone nearby? Anyone new? I might have enough mana to fire my fireball at. There's a sheep over here. Sheep can be pretty good to fire stuff at. If we actually get enough mana. Oh, this thing comes back so slowly. I've no idea how fast it comes back or how to speed up the coming back of mana. But, uh, but yeah, that's how we start that up. I'm going to quickly harvest some more sugar cane and see if my river cane's grown, which I don't think it has. If anyone knows how you grow a river cane, please um, tell me in the comment section down below because I'd love to know because it's not growing at all at the minute. Um, we also need a load of paper for Thorncraft and stuff, which is why I'm just like growing sugar cane out my eyeballs at the minute. But yeah, this isn't growing, is it? Yeah, I'm not quite, maybe it just takes forever, but um, my... Uh, what I actually think is causing it is just the fact that we're doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, where was this sheep over here? Let's go try this one more time. Come on. We can. Do, when I say over here, I meant. I meant. I meant this way. You know what I meant. You knew I meant this way. It's fine. Oh, we got him. And we leveled up, and our mana bar goes to full when we level up. I'm going again, and we leveled up again. Oh. Sometimes you don't level up every time, like it gets harder and harder, as you would assume. There we go, that time we didn't, oh we did, we leveled up to 5, but I don't think we'll level up to 6 this next time. So let's go find that pig that was driving us insane earlier. Actually, what are these things on the map? I always want to know, are these like dogs or wolves or like weird rabbit things? What are these? That I keep seeing all over the place. Might be like birds or something, I'm not too sure. Let's go get a pig. Pig seems like a good place to kill, and he's over here. I think the blacked out one's the one that's like too high up to get something. So we'll go for this guy over here, because I think this is the guy we were going for earlier. Um, we've burnt him a little bit, and now it's time to finish him off. Come here. Where are you? You're still running around in the trees? 
Looks like he is. Uh, oh, th uh. Every single world I load into now, it seems to have like flat land. Uh, it seems to have like weird drops and tolls and stuff. Where the heck is this pig? It's over here. So we'll get this guy. See, that didn't level us up. That did. Yeah, look at this. But our mana's going up all the time, so we're getting more and more mana. Um, eventually, we'll probably run out of mana to just be able to do this, so we'll probably have to start waiting again. But for now... Yeah, look at this. We can get these guys from ages away. Oh, I missed him. Stop moving. Oh, I don't think I've got enough anymore. What a guy, what a guy. Well, there you go, guys. That's the beginning of Ars Magica. That's our first spell. Um, if you did enjoy the episode, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And actually, I'm going to do a quick teleport home because I think now we should have a few more levels. We do. We've got two more levels. We spent all of our three earlier. We've got a few more, and we just wasted one on lightning damage. But, oh, well, why not? You know, what else were we going to do? We could have done magic damage, but that's not what we were going for, was it? So, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!